Hello everyone, hello. This year is dedicated Lili Nishmas, Racholea, Bas, Reb Chaim Svi. Today we're going to be speaking about Rosh Hashanah and some unique ang- a really unique angle on Rosh Hashanah which the other Yom Tovim don't have in exactly the same way. A part of what I'm going to say today is based on a share heard from one of my Rebbeim, Rav Rosenzweig, uh, Shalita, and a part of what I'm going to say and, okay. Now, Rabbi Rosenzweig pointed out, and he, and he developed it, the following idea. Rosh Hashanah really has a dual nature. There, there, there's, a, there's almost, it's not a contradiction, but it's a tension within Rosh Hashanah that has to be addressed and developed. And that's as follows. On the one hand, Rosh Hashanah is a Yom Tov. It's a Yom Tov. With the regular, we'll see, basically, the regular halachos of Yom Tov. We assume, the Pashib Shad is, most assume, there is a mitzvah of Simcha on Rosh Hashanah, like on the other Yom Tovim. Yom Tov, it's a Simcha, okay. But at the same time, at the same time, Rosh Hashanah is also the Yom Hadin, the Day of Judgment. And as a Day of Judgment, there's a certain seriousness that, that, that that's lent to the day. And... And that day of judgment, that the, the, the Yom Hadin aspect, we have to take that into account and we're going to see that the fact that Rosh Hashanah is also the Yom Hadin impacts on its status as a Yom Tov. It is a Yom Tov. There is a mitzvah of Simcha, but the Simcha has to be tempered somewhat and muted somewhat because it's also the Yom Hadin. You're being judged, a person being judged for his life. That's scary. It's a very scary time. So we're going to see today, as we develop this year, that the two themes of Rosh Hashanah, it's a Yom Tov, but it's also the Yom Hadin, and to see how those two elements, those two themes play themselves out within the Halachos of Rosh Hashanah. And this is actually, the, a, a, this is actually a major yesod, which some of the great Gedolim have, have, worked, have used and applied, which is that if you want to analyze the Hashkafa of something, start with the halachos. The halachos are objective. They're facts. And if you, if you start by explaining and developing the halachos of a, of a, of a topic, from there we can develop a, halacha, a, a hashkafic approach as well. So we're going to see here that within the halachos of Rosh Hashanah, we find this dual nature reflected. Yom Tov, but also the Yom Hadin. Oh. This will lead us into a discussion of the shofar, which is the central halacha of Rosh Hashanah, the mitzvah der Isa. And then, Be'ez Hashem, at the, towards the end of this year, when we're discussing the machios and the zichronos, we'll develop Be'ez Hashem a theme about the machios of, of, of Rosh Hashanah, the time where we're Mamach Hashem is king, and how Rebbe Saul used that to answer, a, a, to give a great answer to a, a very, very fundamental question about Rosh Hashanah. Okay, let's begin. Rosh Hashanah is a Yom Tov. And if one of the Shad and the Rambam is, Pashib Shad and the Rambam is, that Rosh Hashanah is a, is a Yom Tov with the mitzvah of Simcha. Oh. The Rambam talks about in Hilchas Yom Tov, Perak Vav, that the seven days of Pesach and the eight days of Sukkot, Im Shar Yomim Tov, and the other Yom Tovs, so they all have the genome of Simcha. It's Asr, Behesvit, Vatainis, you can't have a fast day on the Yom Tovim, and you have Basar V'yayin on those days. So when the Rambam says, with the other Yom Tovim, the Pasha Fadis, it includes Rosh Hashanah as well. Rosh Hashanah is Yom Simcha. It's a Yom Tov. That's Rosh Hashanah. Okay. That's one source in the Rambam, Hilchus Yom Tov, Perek Vav. A second source, and this source, it's in, in the writings, Rav Savetik, the, the uh, Zatzal, the Rav, mentioned this Rambam a lot. He, he talked about it. The Rambam is this, in Hilchos Hanukkah discusses the laws of Hala. Hala. When there is Hala, when there's no Hala. So in Hilchos Hanukkah, Perik Gimel, Halacha the Rambam writes, On Rosh Hashanah Kippur, there's no Hala. Ain't behem Hala. Why? Lefi Shehem Yemei Tshuva, days of Tshuva, the Yira Upachad, and days of fear and Pachad, the Lo Yemei Simcha. Yesera. And they're not days of 
excessive simcha, a lot of simcha. So what do you see in this very precise phrase of the Rambam? That Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur have simcha, but not simcha yaseim. So, so that's exactly the so that we're having, we're developing. On, 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 Chana, on Pesach, Shavuos and Sukkot, simcha, big simcha. Halel, we're singing. Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, Yom Kippur is not for now, Rosh Hashanah, the day of simcha, but not simcha yaseim. And we're going to see, when you go through the halachos, that in the different ways that we express the mitzvah of simcha, the other Yom Tovim, it's, it's muted. It's a little bit less in Am Rosh Hashanah because it's also the Yom Hadin. So the classic example is Halel. That, that we saw in the Ram. That's, that's example number one. And all the other Yom Tovs, there's Halel. Halel, you're singing, you're 